Oh my God, look how crowded this is. This is not the point of the wedding. You are supposed to all be sitting here. Oh my gosh, everyone needs to move right now. Like seriously, make room for the bride. Welcome to another episode of The Royal Family. Before we begin today's episode, I just want to let you guys know that I will be launching my Patreon on July 6th. So on July 6th, I will post a video and I will have the link to my Patreon there as well so you guys can see. But I just want to say thank you so much for those of you who made suggestions for the Patreon and for the membership for the tiers and for the benefits and everything. I really, really appreciate it. Anyone else who wants to make any more suggestions, you are absolutely welcome to because I'm sure I will add some other benefits to the membership as well so just wanted to say that before we started today's video so don't forget July 6th when I post a video that day I will be announcing my patreon but in the last episode of the royal family we played a bit of matchmaker with the teenagers all the royal teenagers we had princess Amira kind of take an interest in Makai which is the princess of Sulani's cousin so she was very interested in him we also saw that princess May was still talking to Prince Johan so there's still a thing going on with them and princess Amira is just kind of so far oblivious to it all so we'll maybe get to see what happens with that in this episode but also in this episode we are going to have our royal wedding of Windenburg King Henry is getting remarried he is marrying Lady Ava who is now going to be Queen Evangeline so I am so 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 excited you guys so before we begin don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications so you never miss another video don't forget to hit that like button if you are excited for this episode and let's go ahead and play the royal family Okay, so the wedding is going to start at 3 p.m. It is snowing, which is not ideal, but the wedding venue is not outside. I'm just worried about a bunch of the guests trying to dress into their like cold outfits when I have like all these formal outfits picked out for them. So I don't really want them to do that, but I mean, I think it'll be fine. Hopefully they won't. We can like now change all of our outfits without going into create a sim mode, which is nice because of the cheat that I have, the MC Command Center. So that is a plus. So I just wanted to go over a few things that I mentioned in the last episode episode and I got great suggestions in the last episode of the royal family so one of the things I had said was I need to know if you guys think that I should have Queen Alice's portrait on the wall or if we should have the future Queen Ava's portrait on the wall so most the majority of people said that we should keep Queen Alice and a lot of people reasoned because King Kellen or Prince Kellen is going to become the king of Windenburg so he would probably put his mother's portrait on the wall like it's really up to him but he does get along with Lady Ava really really well oh my gosh I just realized that Princess May is doing her homework on the throne <laughs> she's doing the homework on the throne and King Henry's like uh hello that's not your throne you don't get the throne why are you sitting there I just think that's so funny that she's doing her homework there um but another uh another thing that people mentioned was that maybe we should build like a crypt or like a royal graveyard sort of thing like a, a royal crypt or something like that which I will do as well and then that way I can make copies of the portraits I do still want to keep the portraits in the throne room though but I I think I might just end up if I do that I might just have the portrait of although our wall isn't big enough so I'm gonna have to make the castle a little bit bigger so I need to make sure there's enough wall space but I will probably end up putting Queen Alice and the future Queen Ava's portraits next to each other with King Henry I don't uh, I don't know I'm gonna have to see how it looks to be honest I, I think it'll be fine I do agree that maybe since Queen Alice was the one who ha like had the children and who is the the queen mother so she's the mother of the future king that maybe her should definitely be up there like I, I absolutely think, do think it'd be up there like if I had to pick just one it would probably be Queen Alice but I I think I might end up putting both but then again I could change my mind so I just wanted to go over that another thing I had asked about too was what you guys think should happen with Princess May and Prince Johan and Princess Amira so as you guys know Princess Amira is engaged to marry Prince Johan the future king of Brindleton Bay but Princess May and Prince Johan get along really really well and they're actually very much in love too. One of the suggestions which I thought would be very interesting is if maybe Princess May got pregnant with Prince Johan's baby but then again Princess May is she's a very free spirit but she's also I feel like 
pretty responsible so but like responsible in the sense of like her reputation like she understands the royal rules and like what not to do so i i really don't know if she would get pregnant i don't think she would get pregnant unless something happens where there's a glitch and she gets pregnant like what happened with prince michael but i i don't know i, I that would be very interesting though that'd be very dramatic and then another person said that either princess may or prince johan would kind of like tell on Princess Amira, like tell King Henry that Princess Amira has been doing all this stuff and to avoid a royal scandal, he might just have Princess May marry Prince Johan. So that was another thing, guys. I think I kind of like that idea. That might, that might be a thing, but then I feel like Princess Amira would also get mad at whoever tells on her because I have a feeling that she does want to be queen. She just doesn't love Prince Johan. I do also think she's pretty interested in Makai, but I was looking at just like her romantic relationships and guys, look, how many people she has romantic relationships with. She has like five people, which is pretty similar to King Adrian. But like none of them are, are serious. Like if you look at this, like none of them are serious relationships at all. So she's just non-committal, I feel like. I don't think that she's going to be having a serious relationship anytime soon, but we could see what happens with her and Makai. I don't think Makai is invited to the wedding but he probably should have been, but it's okay. She'll, she'll see him another time too. So the wedding's going to start in an hour. So I think Lady Ava needs to start getting ready. So I will change her name as soon as they get married and she becomes queen. But for now, I'm just gonna keep Lady Ava. But I am gonna stick with Evangeline for her name too. I didn't really see any other suggestions for it. So I feel like Evangeline will be fine. And then for King Henry. So I will show you guys his outfit that I have for the wedding. So I, I have this one. I ended up changing his crown because before he had that really big like round crown but it's the same crown that the king of Brindleton Bay wears so I wanted it to be different even though it was a different color I still want it to be a little bit different I have this now as his crown which I actually really like a lot but yeah this is the outfit I have for oh you can't see it because of all the dang bookcases so he is wearing this for his wedding if you would turn around you guys could probably see go just like turn around here okay yeah so this is the wet that the wedding this is the outfit I have for his wedding it looks like Princess May is like getting ready to dance for the wedding. I think she's gonna be dancing a lot. So this is the outfit I have for him. And I looked up the outfits that like the princes of the royal family in England, what they wear. And it's basically this, like this is what they wear pretty much. So I have him wearing that. And then Lady Ava, you guys will get to see her dress at the wedding. I don't want to spoil it now. Okay, wedding is about to begin. You guys, are you ready to start? Let's start. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, you guys. So we are here at the wedding venue. Look at the lady. Lady Ava, who is going to be the queen. I might I might just get it stuck and keep calling her Queen Ava or maybe even Lady Ava, but it's gonna be Queen Evangeline. It's gonna be her full name. But guys, look at her wedding dress. It's beautiful. I love it so, so, so much. It's amazing. And like, I love just like the, the ribbon that's going around her arms too. It is so, so beautiful. I just cannot get over how beautiful this is and how beautiful she looks too. And it's freezing, so she should probably get her butt inside. So I'm gonna have her go right here. It looks like everyone else is here. So we have Lady Ezra and then we have Prince Francisco is here too. We have Princess Belle is here. And then we have their other, we have Lady or Princess Anna's other daughter, Lady Aurora. I'm pretty sure Lady, or yeah, Lady Sidira should also be here. We also invited Lady Helena, which is Prince Michael's baby's mama. So we invited her. I think we invited the baby too, Lorda J. And then we have here, we have Baroness Valentina, who is Lady Ava's sister. So she's here. And then her, Lady Ava's nephews are here too. And her brother-in-law is all here too. So I invited like everyone, guys. Like we have King Mahaka is here. We have, let's see, we have the queen. Queen of Sulani is also here. We have Queen Nina. So yeah, the Queen of Sulani is Queen Lokalani. So guys, I invited everyone. Princess Leilana is here too, and I love her formal outfit, guys. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so it looks like everyone is pretty much here. So we're actually just gonna go ahead and start the ceremony because everyone's here. Okay, so we want to get married to King Henry the Fourth of Windenburg, you guys. Okay, so we have seats like all down here for, oh gosh, guys, wait, no, hold on. She's like walking down the aisle. This is so, so pretty. <laughs> I have to get a picture of this. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, stop. Oh my gosh, she's walking to the altar and King Henry's coming up behind her to the altar, you guys. <gasps> Oh, this is so great. Okay, so everyone is supposed to be sitting in these little like 
like bench thingy mabobbers down here, but it might take a while for people to get there. I think they're just like already starting the wedding. Who's calling King Henry on his wedding? Lotu, oh my gosh, stop. No, he's getting married right now, calm down. You guys, this is so great, oh my gosh. And I love this wedding venue too, this is amazing. I will show you guys like the rest of the wedding venue because we have a whole reception area down here too. Okay guys, they're getting married now. <gasps> oh my god, and it's, oh my gosh, seriously, you're ruining the picture. Oh, her sister's ruining the picture a little bit. <laughs> Guys, they're so cute and they're married now. King Henry's married. Here he married. Oh, and they're so happy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, Princess Leilana just like really got in this picture. I seriously, oh my god, look how crowded this is. Look at this, guys. It's insane. This is insane. This is too many people all crowded. This is not the point of the wedding. You are supposed to all be sitting here. Oh my gosh, everyone needs to move right now. Like, seriously, make room for the bride. Okay, so they are now married and everyone is just crowding in this little area right here like seriously this is insane they need to they need to move a little bit we got big ball gowns we have like all these queens here too that are just like getting in the way of everything so we need to move everyone downstairs Ooh, who is princess leilana talking to princess leilana was talking to oh she was talking to Prince Johan, you guys. I feel like Prince Johan might think that she's pretty attractive. I mean, let's face it, she's pretty attractive. So that was the ceremony space up here. So then there's stairs down here and it's getting dark. So it's probably a good time now to start the reception. So we have the reception area down here, which I thought was pretty cool. This wedding theme is very, very pink and purple too, because that is the colors of Windenburg. So I have like a cool sweetheart table thing up here with like, I guess like the bridal party. So it'll be like princess, uh, no, what's her name? Oh, Prince Princess Amira, Princess May, and then we would have Lady Ava's sister Valentina here, and then I figured like Prince Kellen, and then I, I don't know, I, well, no, shouldn't Princess Anna and Princess Court, no, they don't have to be up there, well, no, maybe they should, I don't know, anyway, there's like a much, much more, they, they don't really have bridesmaids or groom, or groomsmen, yeah, groomsmen or anything like that, I looked it up actually, I did some research before I did this, apparently they're all like children or like young teenagers that are bridesmaids, if they have them, and they're like, technically bridesmaids, so I just thought that was interesting. Gosh, guys, we have everybody here. So I'm gonna have people like start getting drinks. So order drink, order favorite drink. Ooh, you know what, guys? This might be a good time for like Princess Amira. I don't know if she'd get a little bit crazy or what. Oh, but you guys can also see this is a new formal dress that I picked for her. She does have another one that I like as well, but I just thought this one was toned down a little bit because she doesn't want to take like anything away from the bride. Like she doesn't want to take the attention away from her. Oh my gosh, this paparazzi is a little bit annoying and is taking a picture of Baron Matthew, which is Lady Ava's brother-in-law. Speaking of, I need to change her name to Queen Ava. So it's going to actually be, so rename Queen Evangeline. Oh, guys, it's such a pretty name. I love that. Wait, why is Princess Belle making the cake? Are you serious right now? Uh, yeah, because they did hire a caterer, so I don't know why the caterer is not here. But it looks like Queen Ava is getting a drink with Princess May. So Princess May is here. I know Prince Johan is here somewhere, too. But I do know that Princess May likes to dance. So I'm gonna have us, I think the music's already on, I think. Yeah, so we're gonna have her dance and then I'm gonna have like get everyone on the dance floor to start dancing too. Why is slow dancing not an option, you guys? I feel like that should be an option and I don't understand why it's not. Oh, I did get this cheat. Did I download it? I thought I did. I, may, I might not have downloaded it yet. Wait, no, I think I did. So I got this cheat that allows you to have the destination worlds that are used for like vacationing where you can actually live in them and then also the livable worlds can also be destination worlds too. So I thought that was really cool. So I, that might mean they can take a honeymoon to Sulani, which would be nice. So I'm gonna see if we can do that. I do also want them to try for a baby in this episode too. So I think right after the wedding, cause there's like a bridal suite upstairs. I think right after the wedding, they're going to try for a baby. So I'm super excited to do that. Oh no, wait, oh, oh my gosh. It just looked like Princess Nea was like throwing up, but Princess Nea is making a cake too. It's so funny, you guys. We have the princesses making cake. Oh my gosh, and Queen Cora is making a cake. Oh my gosh, guys. Why are they all making cake? Like literally two princesses and a queen are baking their wedding cake for them. Except it doesn't look like we actually have 
any cake ready. We have all of this stuff prepared to bake a cake and no one is actually baking a cake and I don't understand why. Oh guys, it looks like Lord Jaden is here. Like he's like outside, like just outside. <laughs> I don't know why, but, but you guys were saying too, it doesn't look like anyone was really leaning towards anyone for Princess Leilana to date. But, oh, this was interesting. Well, I'm gonna like just just cut to the to the wedding guests so you guys can at least see them. So I just thought this was interesting. Oh guys, this is actually really cute. Okay, anyway, um, so for Princess Leilana, so I really want, I, I wanted like whoever she married to be a mermaid too because the royal family of Sulani are mermaids. So one viewer suggested that maybe they have like a special ceremony to turn whoever she marries into a mermaid, which I thought was really cool and that would be interesting. Another thought I had was maybe whoever she marries Maybe they have to like keep trying for kids and whoever is the oldest and whoever is the oldest and a mermaid would be the heir to the throne. So you guys can let me know what you think of that. But then again, then whoever she marries, like the king wouldn't be a mermaid so or a mer merman. So you guys can let me know what you think about that because those would be both interesting ideas. And we still have some time before she ages up and especially before she becomes the queen. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. So, oh, it looks like Makai is here, you guys. <gasps> Makai's here. Oh, he invited himself then. Okay, well, I'm gonna have him change is this his formal outfit i don't actually know change into your formal outfit okay so makai's into his formal outfit now i am going to have princess amira talk to him and maybe start flirting with him oh my gosh guys though but like every single royal <gasps> you know what this might be where she gets in trouble because every single royal is here including prince johan's family so maybe they'll see this and complain to king henry about it oh yeah you guys you know what i think that would actually happen <gasps> Maybe they're the ones who complain. And maybe they think that Princess Amira is too, like, loose. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't think that's the right word. Too wild or she's not following royal protocol enough. So maybe they're the ones who tell on her and then make King Henry decide against her marrying him. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> I think we're gonna do that. So she's going to compliment Makai's appearance. Maybe she's like, had a little bit to drink and she just kind of got caught up in the moment and it's like a romantic lot too so i feel like she's just getting a little bit carried away and she's just maybe super attracted to makai and that she starts flirting with him although she's dancing like crazy and everyone's kind of around her right now seriously guys this looks like a huge party like i've never had this happen before where all of the wedding guests are like gathered around the dance floor and there's like people dancing in the middle oh my gosh and then we have <laughs> princess leilana just doing push-ups in the middle of this at a so so funny but yeah i've never had a party like like feel like an actual party so this is really actually very very cool i'm loving this a lot and then i feel like princess megan so she's here oh and then what princess amira totally knows her that's weird okay but um we have princess megan here so princess megan if she marries prince kellen would be the future queen of windenburg so i feel like she's like taking this all in like okay like getting ideas for her future wedding as well she still has a while before she ages up but i just feel like she's like feeling things out and seeing all this too so then do we have princess amira flirting with makai yet uh yo, yes she is they're both at the bar together you guys and they're flirting and he's feeling so flirty too guys they're like hugging each other right over here oh my gosh they are flirting in front of everyone right now, you guys. Okay, so who is here that could see this? King Jared is way over here, and then Queen Nina is over here, so I don't know if they are actually seeing this or not. I don't know how obvious this is, to be completely honest. Let's be really, really obvious here. Embrace him, because this is not how a princess should be acting in public, so embrace him. I, I don't think she would be that blazing about it. Like, I feel like flirting and stuff, yeah, for sure, but maybe not, like, actually kissing him in front of everyone. I don't know though, maybe. We'll just have to see. I, I I don't think that they are seeing this right now. Prince Johan's brother is seeing. Actually, I haven't seen Prince Johan, to be completely honest. I don't think I've seen him here yet. Is he here? Um, I haven't seen him, you guys. Did he come? I thought I invited him, but his brother's here. I mean, whether he's here or not, maybe he was like sick or something and couldn't come, but we have his brother and, and his parents here, and maybe that's why she's flirting with Makai, because Johan is not here. So yeah, maybe that could be the reason. So I, I feel like just honestly though, rumors have been spreading about it so much. So I think maybe King Henry would be talking to King Jared and, and their cousins too. So I don't know. Oh gosh, guys, sorry. There's like a fruit fly flying in front of me. So friendly and then maybe ask, ask about day. Just be like, hey, how's your day? And then maybe King Jared is like, well, 
your daughter <laughs> is flirting. And oh my gosh, I just saw Princess Belle had like a broken heart thing above her and I don't know why. Hopefully she's okay. I don't know why. But Makai is somewhere. I don't know where he went. Maybe King Jared said something to Makai to make him leave. Like, hey, you know she's taken, right? Oh gosh, guys. Oh, and then I feel like he did know that, but like, kind of not really. Like, I, I don't know. He's kind of new to this whole thing. So maybe, maybe he didn't know that actually. <gasps> oh yeah, maybe he did not know that. And then maybe when King Jared said something, then he was like, like, what are you talking about? Then maybe he told her about her engagement to Johan, and then maybe Makai kind of got upset about it. So Princess Amira is going to have to do some serious damage control, you guys. Oh my gosh. She has just been like flirting all night. She's feeling very flirty right now. King Henry, I did not see him talk to King Jared, but I'm sure King Jared has talked to him about it. Um, for some reason, we can't bake a cake and I don't know why. I don't know if there's something wrong with these ovens, but it's not letting us bake a cake. So, oh, maybe if I move the oven a little bit. Okay, so I just moved the oven over here. So I'll see if that actually does everything, anything. I don't think it will, but we can try at least. So we have Princess Amira sitting over here with her new stepmother who they actually really love, you guys. They are, so Princess May doesn't look as close to Queen Ava. Uh, Princess Amira is super, super close to Queen Ava, and so is Prince Kellen. So maybe Princess May is not is not too, too accepting of it, but I feel like she like she knows she doesn't really have a choice. I feel like she li she wants to like Queen Ava, and I'm sure she does. But I feel like she just loved her mother so much that she like misses her a lot. So I feel like that's maybe why she's being a little standoffish to Queen Ava. But I'm sure it'll it'll be better soon. Oh, did Prince Kellen? Did he bake the cake? <gasps> Prince Kellen, you saved the day. Prince Kellen baked the cake, so he's gonna add the wedding topper, and then we can finally cut the cake because it's a wedding, and that's what we're supposed to do. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so it's 6 a.m. So this wedding has been going on for a really, really long time. But we're gonna add the wedding top of the cake, and then I'm gonna have them cut the cake. But I think King Henry needs to talk to Princess. Amira, and I feel like he might, I don't even know if he's, uh, you know what, he should take her to the side probably and, and talk to her. Okay, you guys, so King Henry has taken Princess Amira here, but like, why is Queen Ava, Queen Ava and Princess May are watching, and so is Prince Kellen. <laughs> They've all decided to come and watch. I seriously did not even tell them to do that. Like, they all just decided to watch King Henry yell at Princess Amira. I feel like it's like a family thing, although they probably shouldn't have done this in a place where everyone is passing through right now. But oh my gosh, you guys, he is like, he was so angry at her. He's so angry at her. I feel like he's like, like, you seriously? Yeah. He's like, you need to behave yourself. Like, this is my wedding, first of all. And you've just, like, publicly humiliated the family by flirting with another guy when you're engaged to someone else, when you're supposed to be the queen of Brindleton Bay. And he's telling her, like, now they don't even want you to be the queen of Brindleton Bay anymore. So he's like, we're gonna have to do some damage control. You're gonna have to go apologize to them. And I feel like now he's like, Princess May is going to marry Johan. I think he's finally made the decision that Princess May is going to. Look at Princess May, she looks so smug, you guys. <gasps> Princess May is like, oh my gosh, finally. She's like, I didn't have to do anything. Like, I didn't even tell my father that I am in love with Johan or anything. So I feel like Princess Amira now, so she's just gotten so much, like she's gotten in so much trouble from her father right now. I feel like Prince Kellen is trying to like soften the blow a little bit, like dad, like, like calm down, like it's your wedding. Like you don't need to be like this right now. And then I feel like Princess Amira now is going to yell at maybe Princess May and be like, because I, I like I, I said she didn't know, but I do feel like she must. Uh, ooh, accused of touching possessions. I didn't know you could do that. I feel like now she's like, oh, denounce friendship. Chew out, blame for bad mood. Yeah, yeah, she's totally blaming her sister for everything. Oh my God, you guys, I can't, I can't right now. This is so, oh my God. Um, act tough maybe. And I feel like Queen Ava's over here. Like this is my my wedding day. Like what have I gotten myself into with this family? <laughs> Cause so much is happening right now. I feel like she's like telling her to, she's trying to tell King Henry. Oh yeah, okay, so they have two cakes now. I did read that it was a tradition for the royal family to have two wedding cakes. I didn't read why, but they did say that that was tradition to have two wedding cakes and there's like so many people here so it would honestly make sense so they need to cut this wedding cake and cut that wedding cake too so they're gonna go do that and i feel like king henry oh maybe king henry should cut the other wedding cake and and then queen ava can cut one of them so they're gonna go ahead and cut the cakes and then we have princess amira still over here yelling at her sister oh my gosh king henry just go cut the cake 
Like you don't, you're, you're done here. You, you've done what you needed to do. Okay, so Princess Amira is yelling at Princess May and kind of blaming her for everything. So yeah, I do feel like she kind of knew, like she saw Princess May kind of lusting after Johan. So I feel like now she's like, you got what you wanted. And, and maybe she is blaming Princess May. Like maybe she thinks Princess May told the, told her father about them flirting. Should they, I saw a thing that said like denounce friendship. Maybe they would do that. Maybe she's like, you're not like, we're not close anymore. Like you're not my friend anymore. I mean, no, they're sisters, but like, like she can't say we're not sisters anymore because they're still sisters, but they're denouncing their friendship, you guys. Oh, Princess May looks so sad about it. Oh my gosh, I feel like she's like, I didn't do anything. Like, I did not tell dad that you were flirting with Makai. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know. I feel like Princess May, like, doesn't she doesn't hate her sister. So, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, well, there's that. And then King Henry, someone's calling him in the middle of his wedding. Well, which, which is fine because it's 10 a.m. I feel like everyone should probably leave pretty soon. Like, the wedding should probably be over now. I think I'm going to... Oh, no, no, no. I wanted them to try for a baby. Okay, okay. I'm going to end this episode with them trying for baby so i think we're gonna end we're gonna end the wedding are there stairs leading up here there are okay and i'm going to have king henry and queen ava try for a baby together because i really 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 want them to have a baby queen ava's wedding dress and she looks so beautiful like she's beautiful i'm so excited for them to have kids i want to see what they look like she looks so pretty i love her wedding this is probably my favorite wedding dress that we've had so far so i am like seriously seriously loving this oh my gosh wait wait prince johan is here ah i did not even see him before so he showed up after all the drama right now but you know what while they're like trying for a baby i'm oh they're still arguing over here you guys <gasps> Oh no, oh gosh, they're seriously, seriously arguing. But I feel like Princess May is going to go tell Johan now, like, the good news, like, we can be together. She's gonna- <gasps> Maybe she would ask him to be her boyfriend now. I know it's, like, super soon, and, like, this whole thing just happened with Princess Amira, but technically they're supposed to officially be boyfriend and girlfriend, or, like, now, King Henry. I feel like he hasn't, like, made the official announcement yet, but- I do feel like King Jared was like, I think that Princess May, because she is very, very well, like she's very put together and she's very well behaved. I want her to be the queen. I don't want Princess Amir to be the queen. So guys, now Princess May and Prince Johan are boyfriend and girlfriend, although he just scared her, which is like not very nice, but I feel like Princess May might be okay with it. They're super, super in love. So I don't know you guys, they're official now, boyfriend and girlfriend. And then Queen Evangeline and King Henry are trying for a baby for the first time. Oh my gosh, you guys, so much is happening in this episode like i did not think this much stuff would happen i was not planning this so they're trying for a baby and we are going to get to see if she is pregnant it doesn't look like there's any bathrooms up here though so it looks like she's actually gonna have to take the pregnancy test downstairs okay queen ava's like walking all the way downstairs in her pajamas and everything some of the wedding guests are like kind of trickling out still but she's just like full out in her pajamas like yes i am about to take a pregnancy test I feel like that's so, so funny. We have all the, oh my god, all the paparazzi in the world are here right now. Seriously, no, ah, uh, no. Would you guys look at this? Literally, no. She is trying to take a pregnancy right test right now, and these paparazzi are in the bathroom with her trying to watch her take the pregnancy test. I am not okay with this. This is not okay. Although she does not look bothered by this at all, to be completely honest. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't right now. She's like, get out. Like, I'm trying to take a pregnancy test right now. They just want to know if the queen's pregnant. They want to know if there's going to be another baby. <gasps> she looks like she's nauseous. So maybe she is pregnant, you guys. Oh my God. No, wait, Queen Ava, you have to take the pregnancy test. I know you have no privacy right now, but you still have to take the pregnancy test. Okay. I'm so excited to see if she's pregnant. <gasps> Please be pregnant, please be pregnant. I really want another royal baby. Oh no, oh no, wait, why is she shaking? Oh, is it just cause she's cold? Oh good, guys, she's pregnant, she's pregnant. I'm so, so excited. Oh my gosh, they're gonna have a baby. She's already showing, like literally that was not, that that didn't take long at all. She's already showing right now. And she's gonna go tell King Henry the good news. And I just really quickly before I end the episode, oh my God, I did not see this before. They have candles all over the bedroom floor here. <gasps> That's so romantic. Oh yeah, if you guys want to download this, I will put the link in the description below to the wedding venue. I made minor changes to it, but you guys can definitely download the original version because I didn't do too much to it. So I will do that. I will put that in the description below. And then I just want to see 
if they can uh, I want to see if we can take a vacation and if we can take a vacation to Sulani okay we can't go to Sulani for our honeymoon so I, I will have to look into that to see if there's some sort of like other cheat I need to do or something but I will definitely check that out to see if I need to do that so they can go on a honeymoon to Sulani because I don't really want them to go to Sel Selva oh my god guys I can never say this Selva Dorado Selva Dorado so I, I don't want them to go to Granite Falls either but guys I do want to mention this this because I do have a hundredth episode coming up in in, a, in like 20 episodes so pretty pretty soon you guys are gonna have to let me know if it's hard for you to follow this many royal families because we just added another royal family but there's a possibility that one of these worlds if I can make it a world that we can live in one of these worlds could possibly be another kingdom or both of them even too so let me know what you guys think of that because if if you guys are okay with that I do have a very very good idea for the royal families for them because I want each of them to be different cultures and I want to bring in different cultures too. So let me know what you guys think of that. But I am going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was such an exciting episode and I had so much fun filming it. So let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed it, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. I would love to see your baby name suggestions as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing those and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.